Grave Steely of Hegesso. This is attributed to Calimachos, who would have been the, the artist who carved this Grave Steely. And we're looking at 410 BCE painted marble. And it's 59 inches tall, which is just under 60 inches, which is almost five feet tall, which is really quite large for a gravestone. And that, but that's the way they made them then, that these large stones. Our theme is death in the afterlife. And when we started this unit on ancient Greece, we started with the geometric crater or amphora, which would have been a grave marker that in in the geometric period with the beautiful vases with all of the geometric patterning and and the women pulling their hair out in grief and then we moved into the archaic period which with with the koros and the core and they too would have been grave stones or grave markers and now we're in the classical period and here we are with a much different type of gravestone more similar to what we would see in our own culture a steely like this and um, we see these two women dressed and we see this beautiful chair that she's sitting on and the beautiful draping around their bodies and you can see that you can really see the form of their body and all the way around the shape of their hips the shape of their breasts and the beautiful lines of the drapery and look at the beautiful hair the way that, you know, it looks like she's wearing a hat. The servant is wearing a hat, but Hajiso looks like she has beautifully braided hair. And our focus here, the emphasis, seems to be what would have been in Hajiso's hands because it's right in the center of the steely. And she's holding a, um, a jewelry box that her servant has brought to her. And is she getting ready for a special day? I'm not sure. We don't know. We do know that the necklace would have been painted on the steely, which is now, of course, with time, worn off. And this, but it commemorates Hijiso, and she's the daughter of Pronex, Aprox, Pro, Zenos, Zenos, and it's inscribed on the cornice of the steely, so that's how we know who she was and who he was, he, the father, who's commissioned this, this steely. So is she contemplating the necklace? Is this, is this a, a sad moment in time? Is this just one of those? Is this um, uh, maybe a reminder of her, um, of her marriage to come, a jewelry box that represents the dowry that her father would have provided Hajiso and her husband-to-be? Um, we don't know, but it, it depicts this moment in daily life that... Here she is with her servant, and it's just a sort of a private moment in her life. And like I say, the hands are the emphasis and, and the beautiful wet drapery that we see around her body. This would be a good one of comparison, maybe comparing the geometric crater or comparing a core with um, these funeral type of steelies.